What's going on guys? Boom Titanium here and this is going to be part 2 of Troops 101 for all of my new clashers out there and what we're going to be talking about is the army camp. Alright guys, the army camp is really important if you want to build the biggest, baddest army that you possibly can. So let's go ahead and select an army camp and get it to be center screen right here and you can see as soon as you select it you get a little bit of information right here. Can you see that? It might be kind of hard to see. It says 125 out of 35 that is actually your shared troop capacity for all of your army camps put together. All right, guys. So anytime you see troop capacity when you're looking at the army camps, except for the upgrade screen, you got to know that that is the troop capacity for all of your army camps put together. All right, guys. So as you can see here, I have 126 trained up out of 135. It also tells you what level the army camp is right there below it. Okay, guys. So we're going to go ahead and click on the info screen or rather tap on the info screen and you can see that the total troop capacity again is right there. That is the shared troop capacity with all of your army camps. Right now I have three and all of them shared together have a total troop capacity of 135. Now if you watch my previous video you will know that total troop capacity, troop capacity in general stands for housing space. It's the same thing. They correlate with one another. Okay guys? So now when you're looking at this army camp window here what do you see the first thing that you see is the level and the fact that you have indeed selected an army camp you'll also see the picture of what is in the middle of your army camp right now we can see that it's some kind of a wild boar okay or a pig or something like that being roasted yum all right and then you can also see how many troops you have uh, how much troop capacity you have used up so right now I have 128 out of 135 so I still have a little bit of space left all right and then you can also see your hit points 330 that's per army camp all right guys so that one is not shared and then if you look down here it says all troops this is all troops across all of your army camps that you have and you can see here that I have a wizard a level 2 wizard I have 61 level 3 barbarians and I have 64 level 3 archers all right guys now these little red minus signs what are they you can actually tap these you can even hold them down okay and get rid of some of the troops that you have if you don't want them Okay, so clicking OK would remove those, and then you get this little window up here that says, remove the troops. Do you really want to remove the troops? You will not be refunded. That's right, guys. You will not be refunded the elixir or the dark elixir or whatever you spent to get those troops. So be really careful with that because if you accidentally remove like a P.E.K.K.A. or something really expensive that takes a long time, you will be kicking yourself. Literally, I, I did because I was upset. I did it one time. And I'm trying to relive that scenario so you won't do it on accident. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, or rather tap on cancel. And then you will see here again all of these troops are shared across all of your army camps. So this is a really neat thing to do to kind of take a look and see what you have trained up before you go out to battle. You should always make sure that all of your total troop capacity is used up before you go out to battle. Uh, unless, you know you don't care and you're a baller like that all right guys so at the bottom it says this little sentence which is very true your troops are stationed in the army camps build more camps and upgrade them to muster a powerful army which brings us to the next point that we're going to talk about which is the upgrade tab or card whatever you want to call it and you can see here it opens up this window upgrade to level six all right guys and then there's lots of information on here it tells you what you're going to upgrade and get like you can see right here true capacity is going to go up by five now this one is just this individual army camp all right guys so if you upgrade this individual army camp its true capacity will go up by five and it will share that added true capacity with all the other ones but your total troop capacity will only go up by five. You understand what I'm saying? It's kind of uh, uh, that was kind of difficult for me to get right in the beginning, but you know I got it anyway. You should too. So remember that you need to upgrade all of your army camps to get the best possible bonus of troop capacity. And then it also tells you how much the hit points are going to go up by. It also tells you what it's going to look like. You can see right now with that extra five uh, troop capacity that you're going to have like likely a giant or something is going to be able to fit in there you need to be able to roast an ox instead of a pig right that makes sense all right and then it also tells you how the upgrade time see right there the upgrade time 3d stands for three days and then right here if you tap on this green button right here it'll say 
you need more elixir, especially if you don't have enough elixir like I don't. Now, if you do have enough elixir, it will automatically spend it, and boom, you're on your way. A builder, an available builder, will come over there and start building it. If you don't, you have the option to buy the elixir by using gems. However, if you watch my gem video, you'll know you shouldn't do that unless you're a baller and you got lots of cash to spend on gems, or if you uh, already have all your builders, then you can do that. Would I do it? Probably not. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and move on. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's that's all you should know about your army camps. I want to let you know also that when you have filled your army camps, as you can see here, I select this one, and it has 135 out of 135. Check it out. I'm going to deselect it. It will say full, and it will actually say full on all of your army camps at the same time. You will never see one army camp say full and then the other one say unfull. If you see that, then there's something wrong with your game and uh yeah whatever anyway so now we have 135 out of 135 possible troops in their troop capacity so we're going to go attack somebody so you can see that when i go to attack somebody there goes all 135 of my troop capacity right there now i'm going to end this battle i want you to go ahead and pay attention to that because if i go back and I go to my army camps, you will see there goes the very same troops with exception to my clan castle because clan castle troops don't actually go towards your army camps, but they do go with you in the battle. So that's pretty much it. That's everything that you need to know about army camps. And if this video helped you at all, or if you know it will help somebody else, go ahead and hit the like button and share it. Also subscribe to my channel as I will be releasing more and more videos to teach you guys how to play this game at the highest level. And I want to thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. And as always, you make sure you have an awesome day. Hey guys, Boom Titanium here. Thanks for watching. I'm so excited that our channel is growing. Make sure you guys comment in the comment section below and let me know what kind of videos you want me to do. Also, click here to check out more war recaps. You can also click here to check out my epic rap video. Aw yeah, let's make it viral baby. <laughs> Anyways, stay tuned for more videos and check out my website. We're going to be giving away random iTunes or Play Store gift cards to our subscribers in the near future. So you don't want to miss out on that. I guess that's all I got to say for right now. And as always, you make sure you have an awesome day.